Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a new video and today I'll be reviewing the Sony WH-CH400 wireless stereo Bluetooth headset. So this is the box in which the headset comes in. Let's take a look at the back. And if you want to read this, just pause the video, but I'll go over through this very quickly. So we got hands-free phone calls, 20 hours of music playback time, voice assist function, you can use Siri or Google app. I've never used Google app and I've never used Siri, so this little function is pointless to me and we've got convenient pairing with one touch NFC so you can just tap your phone to pair with this headset and the stereo headset charges through a micro USB and the micro USB cable is included inside the box iPhone charger will also work you can use your phone's charger or you can use a power bank to recharge these so here's the back if you want to read everything just pause the video and let's take a look at the bottom and once again pause the video if you want to read this by the way, it's got a 300 milliamp hour battery. And here's the other side. Nothing is printed on the other side. So let's go ahead and unbox this. And yes, we have one year warranty. If you didn't see that little label there. And let me tell you guys, you can use these Bluetooth headphones with almost any Bluetooth devices like your Mac, your PC, iPhone, and your Android phone. So let's see what we get inside the box. First off, we have the headphones or headset, whatever you want to call them. And actually, look at this. These are quite compact. Compared to my other Sony headphones, the MDR-XB450. So these are the ones that I currently use, the MDR-XB450, you can see the difference in size. Now this, these speakers do not move, so they are fixed like that, unlike on these headphones, these actually move like this. So yeah, look at this, these are slightly more smaller and more portable compared to these. So anyways, I'm gonna set these aside, I'm going to do a little sound comparison I'm gonna listen to both of these and tell you guys which one sound better and but obviously these ones are more expensive because this has Bluetooth so let's check out the headphones itself I think these these two are the microphones then we have the micro USB port here for charging your headphones yes you can use an iPhone charger power bank or your phone Android phones charger we have the power button this one also receives calls and you can also play and pause a song using this button then we have the forward and the backward and also I think this is the volume control button we'll check that out in a moment and no these headphones do not have active noise cancellation if you want active noise cancellation headphones those are quite expensive so the only thing that will block noise from reaching your ears is this foam so make sure that the headset seals properly when you're wearing it otherwise you're going to get a lot of noise while you're listening to music especially when you're outside in traffic and this is the left side you can see the L alphabet there and this is the right side so we have all these controls on the right side of the headset and you can make this a little bit more bigger by pulling these out yeah, so if you have a big head you can fit these no problem then we have that Sony branding here on top and really these are not that heavy it's quite lightweight so it's going to be very comfortable when you're wearing these now let's take a look at the manual we have a micro USB cable very very surprising usually Sony never bundles any accessories but yeah it's a nice little touch here so that Apple iPhone users can use this cable to charge their uh, headphones we have the manual all right guys so let's turn the headset on and i will show you all the different functionality and especially how to pair a phone so to turn this on just press and hold the power button and this blue led will flash and when it's alternating between blue and red that means it is in pairing mode now since we have turned this on for the first time it goes into the pairing mode right away so to pair a phone, so first off, the phone that we'll use is the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Unlock it, and because this phone has NFC, we can just tap on the headset to pair this. So for that, just make sure that the NFC option is turned on. And all you need to do is tap the phone 
like this and it will ask pair bluetooth device just tap yes and now we wait and that's it the headset is now paired now here's a question you can see this thing is paired with my galaxy note 9 but what if i want to pair this with another device especially a device that does not have nfc so all you need to do is press and hold the power button until you see the led flash it will alternate between red and blue i think it takes about seven seconds so right now once again it is in pairing mode now on your pc you'll need to go to bluetooth settings so we'll do that add a bluetooth device then select add bluetooth or other device tap on bluetooth and we wait so here we are it was very quick whch400 now it will connect so it seems like it is connected your device is ready to go and you can see that led has, has stopped alternating between red and blue so now I can listen to music or watch a movie on my computer. The sound will play through these. And once you're done listening to music or watching movies on your PC, to reconnect this back to the phone, just tap on the NFC detection area. And it will reconnect. And that's it. Now it's connected back to my phone. So if you guys want to check the charge level of the battery inside the headset, all you need to do is open up the Bluetooth settings go here and you can see 100% battery remaining and if you don't have the bluetooth icon here just go to the main settings connections bluetooth and here you'll see connected for call and media audio and after that 100% battery remaining so let me try and explain to you guys the different functionality of all these buttons so let's start with the power button if you press it once the song will start playing of course you need to have the music player open if you press it once again, the song will pause. And then we have the volume button. Yeah, I'm not going to play any copyrighted music here. And this volume button also doubles as the forward and the backward button. So if you long press this, it will skip to the next song. Long press again, skips to the next song. And if you press the back button, long press. It goes to the beginning of the song and if you keep on pressing it, it goes to the song which you were playing before. So what happens if you receive a call? I'm going to call myself and I will show you how to answer and decline a call. So you can see I'm receiving a call and yes, the, and yes this headset also plays back the ringtone. And if you want to receive your call, just press this button once and the call will be answered. So you can see. I have answered the call and then if you want to end the call just press this button again and that's it the call is now ended and your music playback will resume automatically so you're receiving a call how do you decline a call like this I've shown you how to receive and end a call so if you want to decline a call so I'm just gonna mute that so if you want to decline a call just press and hold the power button and you'll hear a little tone in these speakers and that's it the call has been declined and your music resumes so you don't really need to take out the phone in order to decline or receive a call are you hearing this guys these headsets are so darn loud and this is so loud <laughs> And yes, this song is actually playing through these. So if I cover these up. These are very loud. Yeah, thumbs up. So for testing, I played back three songs with Dolby Atmos turned on and Equalizer turned off. The first song I played was Welcome to My Life by Simple Plan. It's kind of a punk rock slash pop song. The second song I played was Every Time I Hear That Song by Blake Shelton. Now this is a country song. And the third one I played was Love Will Remember by Selena Gomez. This is a pop song. 
just for shits and giggles I also played back Barbie Girl by Aqua because why the heck not man. Now the sound quality is good although I wish there was a little bit more bass. Also what I have noticed is that the foam around the headset will block most of the outside noise but the noise blocking capability is kind of limited and is not as good as the MDR XB450. Obviously because the MDR XB450 is bigger and makes a better seal around the ears and I did not have any discomfort wearing the CH400 for about an hour straight and no they do not fall off when you are walking. And for the comparison with my MDR XB450 extra bass headsets, once again I played back the exact same song with the EQ turned off and the Dolby Atmos turned on. Now the MDR XB450 extra bass headphones do have more bass in them as the name suggests. And I don't know how to describe this, you actually have to listen to this in person but the sound is more full on the extra bass headphones. But the CH400 isn't bad at all. In fact, I'd say this is a great wireless headset for everyday use. Also the bass does not overpower other frequencies like it does on the extra bass headsets. And also there was no skipping during playback. So like I said, for general everyday use, the CH400 is perfect mainly because of its size. But to be honest, if you're a bass head and if you love excessive bass, then just go for Sony's extra bass lineup of Bluetooth headsets. Oh, and the Bluetooth range of these headsets is also fairly good. I haven't experienced any lags or any uh, skipping or drop in the song while it's playing. I can roam about in my room and this thing would play music without any problem. Uh, if the phone is sitting here, I can easily go onto the other side of my room and this thing will continue on playing without skipping. And I think one thing that's worth mentioning is that the CH400 do not look particularly expensive. Like, take a look at these MDR XP450, even though these are less expensive, they do look more expensive and better built than the uh, CH400 headset. The only advantage you have in these is that you have Bluetooth inbuilt. Uh, these ones connect your phone with a wire. Alright guys, so this was the Sony WH-CH400 wireless stereo Bluetooth headset. And this is, like, this is the budget stereo Bluetooth headset from Sony. I think these are quite nice because these are lightweight, they're not that expensive and they do sound good. I mean, they do sound okay, not as good as the MDR XB450, but yeah. It's there and yeah man, no wires. And the best part is you can also receive a call on these because these have a built-in microphone. Alright guys, so that's it for this review and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll be more than happy to answer that. So thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time. So this is the reference guide and a lot of people ask me to show the manuals. So here you go guys, just pause the video if you want to read this. Page number one. And we are going down here, some precautions. And I'm recording this in 4K, so I think most of the text should be visible when you pause the video. And then this is the page number two. Here are the specifications. Look at the charging time. It says that the headphones will charge in about 4.5 hours. But you can get 60 minutes of music playback after about 15 minutes of charging. And this is the quick start guide. Just pause the video if you wanna see what's printed on this.